it's encouraged at ground level, this builds your dog up to be a dominant top dog. If the puppy is allowed to jump up and initiate play, then this can lead to unwanted jumping up as your dog gets older. Now, that's just a little tip of the iceberg on what you will learn from this training. How to create the right role between yourself and the dog so that your dog sees you as the top dog and hence is more willing to accept training and commands from you. You see, from the beginning, make sure your dog knows you are the master. Now, this is usually accomplished with simple tasks such as teaching the dog to raise its paw for a handshake, kissing your hand, or rolling over on command to show submission. There's no need for extreme measures to prove you are the boss though, so keep it safe and keep it fun, and you will learn the best techniques in this training. Now, obedience training should be both fun and rewarding for you and your dog. Make sure your dog always eats after you do. Now, this is one of the easiest ways to show your dog who is boss. It's especially important if you share your food with your dog because if you let them eat while you are, they could develop the habit of taking food right off your plate or worse, someone else's plate. Now, you may need to train your family to follow this rule too and that can be harder than training the dog. Now, very active young dogs have short attention spans and some breeds are worse than others, so it's best to have several 5-10 to 10 minute training sessions instead of one long one. I learned this and quite a lot more from a friend of mine called Jody. She actually brought me into the real techniques involved in dog training, and to be honest, without her and a lot of the tips and techniques I learned, I wouldn't be the dog guru uh, that I am today. I learned from her, that it's best to start the training at quiet places familiar to your dog and be sure that there are very few things and people around to distract him. Now you can gradually move the training to places with more and more distractions so he will learn to obey your commands despite these distractions. Now another tip that a lot of the so-called gurus will not let you know about is this. Speak to your dog strongly, but not in an angry voice. Be kind, but be firm while training and never give in to what they want. It seems cruel, but in the long run, you will have a much better relationship with your dog. Now celebrate after every training session for a good job done. Have a big play by running and throwing your favorite toys around. If you give them a lot of playtime with yourself, they will listen to you more. Wow. The training that you will be encountering uh, with the Ultimate Dog Training Package is something that will really revolutionize your life and the life of your dog. There are hundreds of tidbits much like this and much more. You're going to get loads of tips on dog grooming, on how to make uh, dog food at home and that will save you a ton of money compared to buying conventional dog food outside or in the shops. You will also learn all the basic dog training tips and more. Now how much am I selling?